down all the way from Vegas. I I I just got from Vegas. I was just there. What? Why didn't you come and say hello? I didn't know you were in Vegas. Unbelievable. Wow. Piff, I'm leaving. That's it. Piff the Magic Dragon. We have him on today. Hello. Hello. This is a, a new one for me because I love little, this little guy is, gets all the attention, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. Yeah. yeah. This is sure. Mr. Piffles, the world's only magic performing chihuahua. I know. He does some serious tricks, man. He does some serious, serious tricks. Let me give my viewers, because I, I know you have a huge fan base, but let me give my viewers a, a little bit about you, okay? Yeah. From London. Originally. Originally. Yeah. By way of Vegas. You, you live there now. Yes, right. I know. I moved. I was. Yeah, I left London because it's. Uh, they sort of persecute dragons in in England. Really? Yeah, their patron saint is Saint George. You know, uh, notable dragon slayer. Okay, so, so I decided yeah. that England was not the place for me. Discrimination. There. Yeah, yeah. We can't come do to that. America. Come to Much America. more tolerant it, of mythical creatures. <laughs> yes, of course. So you came to America. Yeah. How did you get your start in? I guess because I feel like there's a little like comedy slash magic going on. There is. There's comedy slash magic. Yes. Yeah. Where did you? When did you start doing that? Well, what happened was I was doing magic, mm -hmm. and I kept like making jokes, and um people uh were getting very upset okay so they i didn't thought, like to laugh is that well because like i was doing like people's weddings and people's like bar mitzvahs and and then i was like you know like roasting all the people there okay and i thought this isn't working out very well so i thought <laughs> let's do this but on a comedy stage where everyone's ready to laugh right exactly so I, I did that and then it all worked out fine well yeah i mean it got you on america's got talent yeah um, and you were like the top 10 finalists with that. So yeah, well, successful. I thought it'd be funny to get to the finals of America's Got Talent and go down in flames. Because okay. at the time, I was living in Las Vegas, right? And in Las Vegas, they have all these billboards like Terry Fater, the winner of America's Got Talent, uh, Matt Franco, the winner of America's Got Talent, and I thought Piff the Magic Dragon, the loser of America's Got Talent. <laughs> so I got to the finals of America's Got Talent and then shot Piff was out of a cannon. What? Okay. Did that I mean, you know, it's serious about dogs. You can't be just shooting. Well, you dogs can if you want to go down in flames. <laughs> Here's the thing about magic. Obviously, we don't actually shoot them out of a cannon. It okay. just looks like we shoot them out of a cannon. Okay. So we did that. Mr. Piffle, safe and sound, as you can see, he's still here with me. But uh, crashed and burned in the final. Got our own show at the Flamingo, and now. If you go to Las Vegas, big billboard, Piff the Magic Dragon, the loser of America's Got Talent. Mission accomplished. You did amazing. We did it. Yes, you did. We did it. So you're here in Chicago. You've been going to different cities and um, doing your, your thing, you know, your stuff. Yeah, well, the nice thing, you know, the nice thing about being in America is it's huge. It is. It's very England big. is like the size of Chicago, the city. That's it. Really? It's like, yeah, from here to the end of the street, that's basically <laughs> as big as England. So America is this huge, enormous place. We spend half our time in fl at the Flamingo, where we have a show there, uh, like four or five nights a week. And then every single weekend, we tour all around America. Uh, last week, we were in San Francisco. Uh, the week before, we were in Calgary in Canada. And uh, this week, we're in Chicago. And this is our third time here. Okay, yeah. I and saw you were here. Yeah. And you didn't visit me. So I'm glad you did Well, you know, now time. we're even. I know. I know. Well, well there you know, is that. Hey, so, you, you uh, tick for tech there. Exactly. Well, Jeez. this is our third time back. But every time we come back, we come back with a brand new show, which is also totally different from our Vegas show. I heard. So yeah. what's going to be different in well, this Well, this time, Mr. Piffles is reading minds. Read my mind. What, well, he what, already has. What did he? What? You see, earlier this morning, Mr. Pibbles woke me up. Okay. He said, Piff, because he talks when he's off camera. Okay. He said, Piff, I've placed one playing card face down. And it is in this deck of playing cards over here. It's face down. All the others are face up, but one of them is face down. And you're going to name it. I'm going to name yeah. it. Yeah. And you know what? I'm going to give you three tries. So what's your first attempt? I'm going to say... Ace of Spades. Ace of Spades. Very easy. Easy. Look at it, Mr. Piffles. Already is <laughs> looking down in despair. Now, do you want to stick with the Ace of Spades or do you want to change it to another I, card? I'll change it to another card. Oh, okay. straight away she's changed. Go for yes. it. Yes, Queen of Diamonds. Queen of Diamonds. Yes. Mr. Piffles looking slightly less optimistic. Oh, now he's given up. He's just gone to sleep. Oh. Now, do you want to stick with the Queen of Diamonds? Bear in mind this is your final chance. Or do you want to change your mind one more time? What's it going to be? One more time. You, are you going to change? Yeah. What's it going to be? It's going to be the five of hearts. The five of hearts. Yes. Believe it or not, Mr. Piffles woke me up this morning, showed me a deck of cards, and then the deck of cards, the five of hearts was face down. 
And that's why he's incredible. Uh, where is it? What? Let me see. Oh, well, what? What? what are you doubting, Thomas? <laughs> Look at you. Why don't you just accept the facts? All right, fine. You hold the microphone. Okay, yes, I will. Every single one of these playing cards, every single one of the cards, the same way round, except for one card and one of these playing cards. You remember earlier on we said you were going to choose one playing card and it was the what? The, the five of hearts. The five of hearts. Every single one of these cards is the same way around except for one card just there. One single I'm, playing you card. You <laughs> cannot do <laughs> Oh, it's the five of hearts, ladies and gentlemen. A dog reads your mind. A dog, ladies yes, and gentlemen. Yes, A dog okay. just reads your mind. <laughs> what else does he do? Uh, what? You want more? Yes. That was a Christmas miracle. <laughs> A Christmas miracle, and yet you're like, oh, what does he do next? <laughs> yes, I'm ready, you know? You're ready? Yes. Oh, now it's going to be Piff's 20 minutes of stuff. All right. Yes. Um, you does he do bite? A- or I'm sorry? Does he bite? Depends what you do to him. Okay. Well, just petting, like so. Yeah, that's fine. You want to hold fine. him? Yes. All right. You got how it long, one-handed. How long have you had him? I've had him for eight years now. He's a rescue dog. Oh, he's so sweet. It's cheaper. He, he won't pee on me, will he? Uh, that's one of his other magic tricks. <laughs> okay. Yeah, he urinates on command. Oh look! Oh look! He's gone to sleep on you. Oh. That's that's nice, isn't it? Yes, it is. It's that's very lovely. Yes. Yeah, do you have a pen? No, but I can get one. Well, well, well. They're my producer. Go. See, she's on Don't. it. Okay, throw that away. What? Just throw it away. Oh, well, thank you. Do you have a pen? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. Pen drop. Okay. All right, that's thank for you. you. Thank you. Mr. Pivels wants to um, give you a present. Would you like that? Of course. You want to do one more magic trick together? Yes, let's do All it. All right, the dog's going to do another card trick for you. Okay. All right, here's the deal. You're going to go in, and this time, you're going to take out one of these cards, and you're going to write in it. It's going to be yours forever. So any one of the cards uh, could be literally any card. That's it. Uh, you know what we need? Lapel mics. But moving on. Hey, don't judge know. my life. What? <laughs> well, I guess if you, if, you, if you had a lapel mic, you wouldn't be able to have your fancy name here. Exactly. That's pretty snazzy. This is, this is marketing I need a Piff the Magic Dragon microphone. <laughs> that would be yes. good, wouldn't it? I heard you have a podcast. I do have a podcast. Yes. It's called The Piff Pod. Have you ever done bo- podcasts before? Are you? Familiar? Yeah, we've done like 40 of them. No, I'm saying, are you familiar? Like, are you familiar with, you know, doing on air or being on air, like a host type of deal? Or you're just that damn good that you don't need any practice? What are you even talking about right now? <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, look at you, one-handed. All right. What, whose card is this? I don't know. I just put it there. Cra- <laughs> what? Do I need to? No, no, no. Look, it's fine. The dog's going to do a card trick. Yes. It, let's just let's just keep going. Here, can I? Can you what? Can I shuffle them? Well, you can. It's not going to be as good a trick, but yeah. <laughs> shuffle away. <laughs> shuffle away. Why not? Oh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Nekia Ruins Piff Life. <laughs> Okay. Oh, you've done that? Yeah. Oh, great. This is going to be interesting. <laughs> this is. So here's the deal. Mr. Pilvers is going to attempt to find your card. Okay. All right. Now, the card that he touches is going to be uh, your playing card. All right. So once again, I need I need you to uh, I got you. hold that. You got that? Yeah. All right. Now you're going to bring the dog in over here. So bring that dog in over here. You're asking for too much. No. I, well, yeah, you're right. You don't have any, you've <laughs> run out of hands. Turn the dog around. Piff. No. No. I'm Piff. Well. The dog is Mr. Piffles. Mr. Piffles. Mi- Piff. Piff. Magic Dragon, Mr. Piffles. Mr. Piffles. Magic Performance Chihuahua. Hold this again. Of course. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Now, oh, watch. We're going to show the cards to Mr. Piffles. He's going to he's gonna uh, find your card. Watch. We pass the cards around his aura. One of the cards is now being drawn to him very slowly. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Piffles is uh, getting a sense of what your card is. Uh, I see. I have no idea. What, what, what card did you choose? <laughs> I thought he was supposed to no, know. No, what card is it? I thought he was supposed to know. All right, fine. Look, here's the deal. You ready? Go. He's going to touch a card that's going to be your card. I did magic. I erased my name. Watch. We pass the cards around his face. One card rises up. Boom. The. <laughs> Where's your name? <laughs> All right, fine. Okay, you know what? We're going to have to do a collaboration, you and I. <laughs> okay. Here's the deal. You're going to take the eight of diamonds, all right? Mm-hmm. Just hold on to that. Hold on to it just there. Perfect. Yeah. Now you're going to rub it on his little face. Just rub the card on his face. That's it. Now you're going to take a look at the card. What? No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. <laughs> yes. It happened. That just happened. No. Yes. Uh-uh. Just to recap, yes. This is, I'm mad right now. Why are you mad? You're so I smiley. 
I look very know, happy. I need to know the trick. You He's a magic performing chihuahua. You just rub it on his head. He is my... Can I take him home? Or? Yeah, sure. We've got barrels of them. Okay, cool. I appreciate that. So tell me a little bit more about tonight, what people can expect at the improv. Like. Well, tonight is the only all-ages show that we're doing this really? weekend. Yeah. So I'm going to be on my best behavior. I'm going to be very polite. No Magic cursing. Tonight. No cur- small, little cur- No, no cursing. Okay. The dog, I can't vouch for, but me... I will be squeaky clean. Okay. And then uh, tomorrow we got one show, and Saturday we got two shows. Uh, can't bring the little kids for that, but um, uh, Mr. Pivels and me, all new show, all new tricks, all new jokes, same dog. I have to ask before you, you go. Yeah. Do you sleep in this or? What do you mean in this? I'm naked. No. <laughs> I'm a. How many times do I have to say I'm a genuine mythical creature? I'm just saying, do, do you wash it? Do you wash, it? <laughs> wash it? I'm dry clean only. Oh, okay, so it does get clean, though. It, 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 it me, wait, you, I get clean. <laughs> you ever have a dream where you wake up at work and you're naked? Welcome it's to my hot life. in Vegas. I mean, there's a lot going on. Yeah, but you I'm, a, I'm a reptile. Layer. I'm cold-blooded. Oh, okay. So you're really in it. I just bask in the sun, yeah? Okay. And just go out. I'm like a lizard. I just go out and just lay on the sun and then crawl under a rock. Because I was going to pass out when I was in Vegas. That's because uh, you're not a reptile. Well, I, they say I'm cold-blooded, though. So no, I don't I think know. cold. They say you're cold. <laughs> Is that what they say? Yes. I mean, that's what I feel. <laughs> that's, that's definitely what it's they say. It's been a lonely lonely time for me in this <laughs> first of all you come to vegas you don't say hello i, I didn't i'm then sorry you steal i was my dog. working i was working the 2018 billboard music awards i didn't have oh, how was that eh. i mean what? well you know it was meh. Let me let me tell you something the red carpet was a little difficult but why was it difficult because all the celebrities do this and walk by like this is Miss America. And I'm like, if you don't get over here and say at least something for two seconds. You know who you needed? Who? A magic dragon. I did. Yeah. I would have come. Was, we could have hung out. We could have gone for in and out burgers. Yes. I, I'm sorry. No. I, I apologize. Apology accepted. Thank you. We can Thank move you. on in our friendship. But I will say the actual show was great. The billboard show. Yeah. Who was your favorite? Of course, Janet. Really? Yeah. No J-Lo? J-Lo was good. She, she was, was good. She was Oh, good. I'm sure she'll be very grateful for that. She'll put it on her resume. <laughs> there we go. I was good at the Billboard Music Awards. I mean, she was, it goes Janet, J-Lo, and then everybody else. Everyone else. Yeah. Everyone. Really, yeah. yeah. That's, that's pretty much it. But tell them about your show. When can they come uh, and see you tonight here in Chicago? I'll be performing with Janet Jackson no, for four <laughs> shows only at the Chicago Improv. Me, Mr. Piffles, Janet Jackson. <laughs> so you're just lying to people right now. She may or may not be able to make it due to scheduling <laughs> issues. Right, exactly. Two out of three of those group will definitely be there every okay. night. Janet Jackson, Piff the Magic Dragon, and Mr. Piffles, two out of three will be at the Chicago Improv. What time? I see. One show tonight. I don't know. Wh- what? I, I have no idea. 7.30. 7.30. We're getting. And then? Tomorrow is what? Eight. Eight. Okay. Yeah. And, and then Friday, right. Saturday is? Seven. seven yeah we're just guessing and here. 9 15 <laughs> yeah it's 9 15 yeah. right. janet's promised me that she's going to be at the 9 15 on saturday really? well i say promised okay yeah so her agent she, said it was a possibility so she does break possibility pro- she does break promises from time to time we can't say that yes yeah i mean look at the super bowl okay don't do that don't do that <laughs> we're not going there okay let's let's wrap it up that, <laughs> that. Oh, we so struck I'll, a nerve i'll make sure <laughs> I'll make sure people in Chicago come out and show some love. Thank you. Are you going to come out? Yes. I'll Promise? Well. Oh. I'm doing What like is this, it. ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> what is this? I will definitely be there. Promise? Mm, mm, promise. I don't oh, promise anything. What, ab- uh, what about if Janet Jackson were here right now? Uh, mm, You'd promise Janet, wouldn't I, you? Uh, come on. Imagine I'm just. just I've, I've seen her look show. At, I've seen her show. Look at me and just see Janet. And let's try this question again. Okay. Promise? Oh my! <laughs> Sorry, Jay. <laughs> well, <laughs> no, this has been a great interview. Um, hopefully, you'll be back again to Chicago. Can we say that, please? Yeah, I'll be back to Chicago. Whole new show and bringing a- another Mr. new show. But don't look. Come and see this show. Don't wait for the new <laughs> show. We made a new show. Yeah, and this we're here doing it. I mean, I encourage them to see this show, but I'm just encourage saying. them. Like you should like threaten them to. I can't do that. Can you politely ask? Hey guys, if you don't mind, 
Piff the Magic Dragon would love to see you tonight, tomorrow, and possibly even on Sunday. No, not on Sunday. We got no. Well, I thought maybe they could come to your hotel room. I don't know. I'll be in Vegas. I've got a show in Vegas on Sunday night. Okay, well, then tonight and tomorrow. And s- no. T- if Janet were here, this would be a whole Friday different Friday and Saturday. No, tonight is what? Thursday, right? Oh, tonight it, Tonight is Thursday. Yeah, so tonight, tonight Thursday. That's the all-ages one. I'm thinking That's the only Friday. chance to bring the kids. I- and then tomorrow is Friday. Listen. Okay, forget the kids. Just leave them in the glove box. And then Saturday, Saturday. two shows. Yes. One with me of Janet Jackson. I for- Forgive me because I really don't even know what time of day it I is. I forgive you. Yeah. I accept your apology. Okay. And um, I'm looking forward to seeing you in Vegas. Me too. Or at one of the shows this weekend because you promised. Okay. It was great talking to you. It was very nice talking to you. 